What's up everyone? Um, it's me, Narada, African Hair God. Um, just coming on really quick to give you a brief update on my beard locks. We have reached four months since locking my beard locks. I locked back in January um, the 24th and it is now May the 25th, so I'm a day late. Um, for the most part, nothing's really uh, changed. I think at this point my locks are just kind of marinating and developing um, and nothing significant is really happening at this stage of the game so with that being said I probably won't do a five month update I'll probably wait until the six month mark and update you all then and then maybe at like nine months I'll do another update um, but for the most part everything is still very much consistent I just did a soft retwist um, today um, so the only thing that's really changed is now I've started to use the Jamaican mango and lime black castor oil which is the vitamins A, D, and E version and I just picked this up at the store because I liked how it smelled um, so that's what I'm using um, I use it the same way I used my Love by Birdie oil before. I only use oil on my beard after cleansing it with shampoo. Um, I'll apply it to damp hair and work it in and it does its thing. It keeps my beard soft and shiny and just looking really nice. Um, last month my beard locks reached a length of 5 inches and I'm kind of curious to see if I retain any length. So I got a ruler and we're going to see if uh, my hair has grown any. So let's do a couple of sections. Let's do this one here since it's right in the front. Let's put this right there. Alright, this one is measuring about 5 inches. Uh, let's see. I think I measured this one last time. So let's see. Let me line this up. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Definitely nearing the five and a half inch mark. Keep in mind it is kind of twisted, so. Uh, let's try another one. Ooh, we comfortably sitting at five and a half inches. So it's definitely growing. And not only do I need a ruler to see it, I can like just see it from my my retwist here it's just it's hanging more and um it's doing its thing i've been like i said i've still been getting a lot of compliments guys are noticing it women are noticing it um you might notice i took my beard uh jewelry off my little beads or whatever i noticed that with wearing it constantly it was kind of thinning out my uh lock here and it is still a little premature for me to be putting on lock jewelry and stuff um, underdeveloped locks so once I saw that I just decided to like do away with it I'll still put it on here and there just not consistently non-stop every single day um, so that is pretty much it um, this is the longest I've ever seen my beard be um, and it's just crazy to see how full thick and even it's growing out it looks a little uneven but I wonder if it's uneven or if it's just that's the way it curled up. Let me see. This side might be a little. Um, I'm not gonna do this. Okay, let's do it this way. Curious. All right, it's a little shorter on that lock. Let's try this one. No, it's it's both reaching five. It's just it looks shorter for some reason. Maybe. This one dried quicker or something. I don't know, but it's, it's all relatively even. It's full, it's thick. Um, again, still having issues with this top row of locks. Everywhere else underneath, for the most part, maintains themselves really well. I say this on every update now, it feels like um, they pretty much maintain their partings and I can just kind of go and grab and retwist as you see. The parts themselves look neat. I did a soft retwist in the shower 
That's kind of how I do it now. I notice when I do a retwist in the shower with shampoo in my, my locks, it kind of helps it hold a bit better. I notice when I do it outside the shower, sometimes when I palm roll, a lot of loose hair will come out from the palm roll from the friction and from my hands being dry, the hair starting to dry up. So I think the shampoo, along with it being wet um, and the reduced friction really helps with keeping all the shed hairs in and helping it to lock up quicker. So that's what I do now. Um, I still do a hard retwist um, about once a week. Um, um, at this point, I'm not really shampooing or cleansing my beard except for maybe like once or twice a week and that's only when I have really vigorous workout and it's like sweat accumulating in my beard. I'm just not that person. I need to have a clean face, clean beard, clean everything. Um, and let me see, is there anything else I need to mention? Mm -mm. Same routine. If you want to see uh, me retwist my locks, I actually just did a recent video of me showing my facial and shave routine, my skincare and shave routine, and I showed how I, you know, manicure my locks with a actual hard retwist. So you can see that in that video. I'll be sure to link that so you can check it out. And, um, yeah, we in this thing. Again, I don't know how long I'm gonna let this thing get. I'm kinda just excited to see it grow out and to see the locks mature. I've gotten a question about if I was going to uh, color my locks or whatnot. And possibly, you know, um, I'm thinking about it. I kinda like the natural black, honestly. Um, I've always been a fan of like natural black hair color, but maybe when it gets a little bit longer and I see how it kind of looks on me, we'll kind of go from there, but this is how it's looking. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you have any other questions uh, or concerns or comments or anything like that, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. I try to be really good at least with answering questions, I do read all of my comments. Sorry if I'm a little lackluster. It's late at night. I'm about to go to bed and I don't feel like shouting and being like high energy. So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, I will update you all on my beard locks in a couple months. In the meantime, in between time, thanks for watching, supporting, and I'll see you on the next one. Be blessed.